Who am I? These are three simple words that have changed my life forever. In October 2013, I had to get used to say goodbye. Two things. I was forced to say goodbye to my toys, to my room, to my neighborhood, to my best friends, and to my school. Basically, I had to say goodbye to my life. Everything I knew disappeared. October 2013 was the moment we had to flee from Syria. We were seeking for a safe place after facing hard conditions. My family was in danger, there was a revolution in Syria, and they were part of it. The situation in my hometown was getting worse every day. Though I was 12 years old when I came to Lebanon, I felt like a newborn baby. I had nothing except my family. When I first arrived to Lebanon, I couldn't go to school because our financial situation was bad. Looking for something to do, I decided to learn photography. Photography helped me to survive in Lebanon. It gave me something to do and to care about. My family discussed all major decisions together. After one year in July 2014, my mother, father, sister, and I sat together and decided that there was no future for us in Lebanon. We decided that my father would leave to Europe, hoping for a better life for us. My father left everything he knew, everything he was known for the past 50 years. Again, I had to say goodbye this time to him. At that time, my family and I were working in the Syrian refugees camps in Lebanon. At first, I think that the reason I want to be with the kids is because I want friends. I soon realized that the real reason I want to be with them is because they gave me strengths. I saw that they continue to dream despite their loses. They have experienced and the difficult, they, the lose, their loses they have experienced and the, the, the difficult life they were living. I saw they remembered how to be happy, something I had forgotten how to do when I left Syria. I saw them living their childhood, something that I was trying so hard to do. I saw that they were able to do things that I myself was struggling to do. The moment I realized that I wasn't the one helping them, that I was the one who's getting helped by them, these children became my superheroes. There was no opportunity for me to go to school, and I wanted to do everything I could to make sure this would not happen to the younger children. My family and I wanted to create a safe place for the children to build relationships and learn about their country and the country they live in. We hoped that by doing so, we could help them heal, so we built a school in a refugee camp. The children always told me their sad and happy stories and memories, and I helped them to speak their minds. They started to feel responsible for, it, for themselves, for their belongings, their ideas, and their personal hygiene. The children in the school taught me how important school is. School is not, an, is not only a place where you can learn how to write and read. It's also a place where you can make friends and memories learn about new people and teach other people about yourself. School is a place where you can become who you are, where you can express yourself freely and discuss your ideas with your peers and teachers. This is what the school we built became. There are currently around 200 children studying in the school. The school offers literacy classes, gender equality workshops, English, math, and creative courses like photography, music, acting, and art courses. But one school is not filling the gap. According to UN, there are 2 million Syrian children that are out of school, and there are 25 million children living in conflict zones that can go to school. Children my age who are supposed to be in high school are even less likely to be in school because they have more responsibilities, like taking care financially for their parents, who are often not allowed to work. We do not want to become a lost generation. 
Gandhi said, whatever you do in life will be insignificant. But it's very important that you do it because nobody else will. By starting the school, I wanted to continue to con contribute to a solution for the crisis that hit Syria and its children. But I can't do this alone. I am calling on everyone, governments, schools, university, and companies worldwide to put our strength together because every action, small or big, can make a change. Who am I? I didn't know who I was before I worked with the kids in the school. I am who I am because of them, because of the situation they are in. This is the sad fact that I face every day. I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be who I am today if there was no war in Syria. If children didn't get killed while going to school. If children didn't die while trying to survive the winter in Lebanon with the snow in their tents. Similarly, you wouldn't have created the International Children's Peace Prize if children around the world weren't dying because of hunger and disease. You wouldn't have created the prize if girls were allowed to go to school without getting shot in the head. You wouldn't have created the International Children's Peace Prize if all people were safe and all of us were going to school. Unfortunately, this is not the world we live in. But Syrian children like me, wherever we are, are uh, at the moment, are showing that the world, we are resilient and powerful that we want to study and still have dreams. This is the message I want to voice today, to you and to the rest of the world. Your, your Royal Highness, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be here today to be accept the International Children's Peace Prize out of the hands of Malala Yousafzai. I thank you, the Kids Rights Organization, for giving me the chance to speak here and for appreciating me and my work by giving me this prize. I thank the previous winners for the work they are doing to change the whole world. I thank my father, my mother, and my sister May for supporting me and being next to me. To end this speech, I would like to apologize to the children of Syria and to the whole world for the actions and inactions of governments and politicians everywhere. I would like to thank the children for their laughter for their big hearts. I would like to thank them for changing me into a better person and for being my superheroes.